So today I want to talk about alimony because it is uh, January 2nd, 2019 and as of yesterday, the new Trump tax laws uh, fully take effect with regard to alimony. If you are somebody who pays alimony or somebody who receives alimony, this may be important to you. First thing you need to know is that if you're already paying or receiving alimony as part of a final judgment, well, the new tax laws probably aren't going to affect you too much. If you already have a final judgment, uh, that that is set in stone and the old tax laws would apply to your case. That traditionally, alimony has been taxable to the person who receives the alimony and it is also deductible to the person who pays the alimony. And with this old tax structure, what would happen then is that the person who receives the alimony typically pays at a lower tax bracket than the person who's actually paying the alimony because uh, typically if they have the ability to pay, they're gonna be in a higher tax bracket than the person who needs the alimony. Alimony has always been based on the payee's need and the payor's ability to pay. Moving forward, if a final judgment is entered in your divorce case, uh, the new tax laws will apply. So here's something else to think about. If you had a final judgment and you have been paying or receiving alimony for the last, you know, several years or even the last several months or weeks at any time prior to yesterday, really, and either you or your ex goes to modify that final judgment because there has been a change in the need or the ability to pay alimony, the law will require that the new analysis takes into account the new tax code, meaning that uh, the payor will get taxed and it will not be a taxable event to the payee.